I'm 16 with a week to live. I've never really written my whole story and before I go I wanted to have someone remember who I was, even if it's a series of anonymous Redditors. This is going to be a long read and I apologize in advance. I was born into a wealthy family and management of a household corporation from the part of the world I was originally from. My father was a cruel man who often abused my mother and I ferociously. Despite all his shortcomings, he tried to groom me into becoming a good man who would one day lead the company he built from nothing. As the years dragged on his health declined. When I was 12, he passed away and it was said he worked himself to death. Flying between America and Korea mustn't have been easy for him as he often seemed ill especially during the finals few months of his life. In the years after my father's passing, my mother took on the role of shaping me into a future corporate leader by having me educated at the best schools in America. Those years were hell for me as every day I missed my home and all the friends I've left behind in my home. However, despite despising school, I made good marks and was moderately received by my teachers. For my final year of high school as I was slotted to graduate early, I requested to be transferred to a sister school across the country. That's when I met the only person I've ever loved. She was a student at the school, an underclassman and a scholarship student of my nationality. Despite what my culture would have perceived as shortcomings, such as her family status, I loved her. Till this day she is the kindest person I've ever met in my life and one of a few people who truly wants to be my friend for me. Eventually I worked up the courage to ask her to date me and she agreed. Much to my surprise, much of the school didn't approve of our relationship due to manifestations of elitist culture and how judgmental people can be when it comes to appearances. I thought I was going to live out my life happy with her much like in those Korean dramas I've always considered silly. My dreams of an ideal romance was shattered when I was diagnosed with a terminal disease. At the time of diagnosis I had four months left. Now most of that time has passed as I've attempted to continue a life of normalcy with increasing failing attempts at covering my poor health. My cough no longer passable as a cold, my limp no longer concealable as a sore leg, I can no longer maintain the pretense that everything is alright. As I realized how much pain she would have been in had I passed away, I ended my relationship with her abruptly, without explanation. She was hurt, as to be expected, but I reasoned she'd be better off without the burden of my death on her. If nothing else, she deserves better than me as I cannot be there for her much longer. Now at the end of my life, I'm coming to reflect on all the things I wish I could have done differently, as many others have done before me. Yet, I find little I would have changed because now that I'm in the ninth inning, as my username suggests, I've arrived at the realization life is simply a set of cards dealt by the universe in which there is no order. The universe is neither good nor bad, it's apathetic and uncaring. Nearing the end, I'll die alone as my mother is now preoccupied with raising my brother to replace me an ocean away. I don't mind it, as my parents have never truly been together with me. With death imminent, I've considered professing my belief in a higher power, but that would be a lie. Never in my life have I believed in the existence of a supreme being who is responsible for life. I shall die as I've lived, by myself, save for a short amount of time that I've been lucky enough to spend with her. If you've read to this point I would like to say thank you, and I'll miss you, even if I've never met you before. Maybe I'll be proven wrong and there is something greater than us out there. In that case I'll look forward to seeing her again, someday.